Oh, hello. Uh, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, this time I will show you how you can open the winder site or the advanced site of the camera in a Rollerflex 3.5F. And this is with a Carl Zeiss planner, uh, 1 to 3.5. And uh, it's a 75 millimeter. So let's have a look. Let's zoom out and see what we need. Zoom tools. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need some dentist tool, which is very handy. Different uh, shapes and just to work with with the small parts in a Rollerflex or another camera. Uh, they do not cost that much, but they are very very handy. <clears throat> just like the the spade here, this one is a very good to to take off the leather on a camera. This one and the, is another one, but they are all old. Uh, and I, I buy them in second-hand shops. This is, uh, and sometimes I get it from my dentist. It's very friendly. So thanks for that. We need a um, pair of screwdrivers, maybe not the small one. This is a 1.2 millimeter. Well, <clears throat> it can be very handy, but the 2 millimeter is absolutely a must. Flat screwdriver. Nothing really special. Some pairs of uh, tweezers, like this one, the curved one and the anklet, and a straight. We need some glue. This is a Danish brand called Dana Lean. <laughs> it's called Universal Lean. And uh, it's I think it's better than the contact glue uh, that's also very useful. Um, a plier is also very good. This is a Nipix, a German brand. Very good quality. And we need some uh, lighter fluid, just something Yeah, you can get. It could be Zippo or Extra or whatever. Just uh, lighter fluid or, yeah, sometimes they said clean fluid, clean lighter fluid. Uh, I don't know. So, um, yeah, very handy. And I put a serine needle on, so it's better to apply the uh, the lighter fluid to some small areas. And we need some oil. This is sewing machine oil, the very, very thin one. And again, I put a serine uh, on this one, so it's easier to apply on the small areas that need some loop. <clears throat> now let's uh, also a rubber blow is very handy and maybe some cotton buds or q-tip or whatever they have a name now this camera is actually working pretty good uh, I mean the the winder side in here is a bit stiff when uh, handled and it feels maybe some of the parts inside is a bit oily or old grease or oil or something um, as you know you wind once and go back and then you can shoot the camera fire the camera <laughs> so <clears throat> but the reason I mean the case in this uh, video is how to take off the the cover here, uh, not the cover, but the um, the side here with the handle and the screws and also the leather here. This uh, leather is a bit dry, so um, I think it should come off very easy. So I need I use my um, my spade here on the uh, dentist tool and simply lift off the. Um, one corner. This is already uh, loose. I know that because it's very very dry. So there has. I don't think they have used that much glue on it in the very 
early days but gently <coughs> lift around here and uh, use the spade as you go under it and I mean, carefully lift up the, the leather and it, it will expose the screws well they have used some glue <laughs> or there is something left that is yeah not <clears throat> that dried out but you see here I cannot go any further so I need to take off the two screws here and there and it's uh, actually one side of the the uh, the place where the the back plate here is uh, attached to one could actually just unhook it by uh, simply it should be possible to lift up and there you see there is a very tiny pin here so by open the lid one can actually unlock the back see it's only one side so there's nothing on on this side so oh it pop off something like that and then lock it again and it will actually lock itself so if you just put it in it have a self locking mechanism as you can see here the pin goes in here and then you put it in and just flip down the the lid and it will lock the uh, so you see now I cannot open it but it's easier to work with and nothing fools around with this one so <clears throat> so I need to unscrew the two screws here it's nothing really special there are two spacers under here and there just to take care of some things fall apart so and off that is a long one and the other one is shorter so take care of that so by taking off this you can see this is how it looks and just to take care there is a short one and a long screw now there are two different types of I mean two different thickness of the spacer so this is the thick one that is uh, where the long screw belongs to and the thin one here oh they have actually glued it too but uh, I'll just take it off so one can see what's going on oh, it falls here <laughs> so the thin one is sitting here so take care of that so long screw thick spacer and short screw thin spacer now <clears throat> this is uh, part of it because uh, then I can actually continue with the um, take off the leather it's not really leather but it looks like oh. come on there so all the way up here and there maybe are some areas where they they um, uh, still glued in especially around the counter so there and over here and then flip up the handle and so it is it looks actually very good so away put it aside and here 
we can see some of the screws but um, <clears throat> there is one here this one here there there and over here so it is but first I mean I need to put uh, I mean to unscrew this uh, the handle the winding arm and uh, there are some small parts uh, that is a bit it differs differs from um, how old the camera is or the type of you see maybe you can see it here on some cameras there are some piece of leather hold uh, in some of those there were tiny plastic pieces on each side so it will act as a uh, kind of a have some friction so the the handle here will not just uh, if I hold the camera like here it will it would just fall down but the plastic or the leather is sitting there and under it there is a spring now <clears throat> To um, take the handle off, there is a pin in here, as you probably can see, and it can be pushed out if you press here on one side and simply press in. And therefore, we need the 1.2 millimeter screwdriver, and it should be possible to just press. Maybe this one. The pin has been put all the way in and therefore you need some kind of a uh, tiny hammer or, or so and just uh, or just use the plier and gently so now the pin is uh, actually on the way out but uh, I will help it with the last uh, way out but keep the keep a finger on here to prevent the uh, small leather <coughs> or the plastic to just pop off just some some and then the plier and then take it out so it is now then it should be easy to take off the the winding arm and uh, remember how it actually sit because it will help you the the plate here where the arrow is hopefully you can see it yeah uh, the arrow is it's uh, in this camera maybe it has been opposite but uh, also can see here there is a pin kind of where when you move the handle part over here the back side of the here there is a small mark I can see where it has a uh, press on it so this is how it looks so you just take off the handle and then unscrew the two screws it's the same length so and use your tweezer and at the same time maybe holding on here and lift off the screws So, and well, I could, I could actually take out the 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 leather or the plastic, but as you can see here, <clears throat> if I turn it around, this is uh, the spring that I just mentioned before. 
and uh, it's a different way they have made it probably the uh, original so uh, and you can see it it not it's not uh, really it doesn't matter how this uh, spacer is uh, I mean this spring is sitting because there are two wings here and they have to press again the um, the plate here and also pressing on the um, the leather or the plastic pieces so there is a brass spacer here very thin And there is a ring here. It's, I think it's for the finish and also makes some the movement easier. There is a uh, notch here, so it can only sit one position because there is a small pin here. There is a, uh, as you can see here, this one has to sit there and can only sit there. So now, <clears throat> so this is actually all for now. But uh, to take off the plate itself, there are one through three, four, five screws. We need to unscrew. Oh. And they are a bit tiny and they could be different lengths so put them aside as they should sit on the in the camera will uh, be much easier to for you to put it back in again just like save the position you can make a drawing of where the piece is but for me I think it's just easier to put the thing on my desk and uh, so I know where they have to sit now <clears throat> there is a spring underneath here as we will see in short time so and other parts so by lifting up the plate here flip it over and this is how it looks inside The um, this spring here will just stay there, but it it's um, this pin here is also engaged with the the winding uh, axle here for the fill. There is another thing <coughs> that I should mention. On uh, some of those cameras there are tiny spacers uh, just like here and they sit in different uh, places like here so I can see it's the only place it has to sit in this camera there are some spaces around just like the two here and um, you see it sits here and there but um, there's also one up here just to be sure it, it is there just to mention it uh, it could be different in your camera there's also one here and that's it I mean in the very bottom 
of the plate there's also a kind of a plate thin very thin that acts as a uh, spacer but also to protect the some of the gears here the moving parts from uh, scratching and it will make in the inner plate here and it will make it easier to to move with the brass here as I see it maybe I'm wrong now <clears throat> there is a very important uh, spring here this one this is on the uh, winding gear for the film the roll and it has to sit back on um, just to mention it because it will press on the uh, oh, hold on a second it will press on the gear and the spring in here this one here is actually pressing on the don't see it there it's actually pressing on the 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 part that actually uh, drawing the the film roll and um, so it will work like this so when pressing on the roll and putting it in this one will be pushed in so <coughs> just take this out so it will not fool around so <clears throat> now how does it actually looks underneath here just to be sure how things should sit just to remember that's the main thing here <laughs> Uh, I don't think the repair manual for this camera is very good so therefore I will make this this one sits like this right now at the moment when putting it over here it will sit correct the two holes there and there but um, if I take it apart and take it off and maybe move some things around how should it sit again? Well, one thing is important, and this is the uh, to make some kind of a mark. Could be here, and I will do the exact same here. That's also one thing to mention that it is actually impossible to put this part here in a wrong place because. There's a curved here. This here is curved. And this part here is also curved. And uh, it works like a key putting in and it can only sit in one position. So there isn't anything that could go wrong <laughs> except for the spring here. So one can go this, there, so. Now there is another bigger spring here that has to sit correct. As you can see here is uh, the position is sit there. Put it aside. Now, some of the thing that sometimes go wrong. It is this pin here. When it moves, it uh, it can sometimes be very sticky, and will not actually move anything. This part here is also sometimes, as you can see here, not moving very good. So it's it's a, a bit sticky. I mean the old oil 
or whatever they used <coughs> in the past would also get very very sticky over time I mean the spring is here and uh, but it's not strong enough to pull it back so if I move you can see there is a lot of dirt here so and uh, also on this axle there's also a lot of dirt and it will prevent it from moving freely also over here there is a sometimes but this in this camera is actually okay Uh, some of the parts here can also sometimes get very sticky this is sticky right now so it should be possible to move this as you can see this one down here can also sometimes be very sticky and uh, it will prevent things from actually working therefore you need to um, to actually clean it with the lighter fluid which I will show in a short time we can begin with this part down here which is really really sticky and uh, should actually act freely so if I do so and just add a little of lighter fluid on the axle maybe it's not you can see how it will go come on so there and it's maybe not enough you can see it's still it will not move freely <clears throat> but what if I add, add something here just a tiny drop So, and uh, if I move it just a little, give it some exercise, and uh, with a cutting bud, just take some of the rest away or I could actually use my my cotton bud and uh, and simply wipe away some of the their dirt and it will be there it will come there uh, over time so one actually need to clean it out Maybe it's not. Maybe it's necessary to do it one or twice. And give it some movement. And after that uh, treatment. I will simply add some sewing machine oil okay you might stay there so now let's see how it will go <coughs> if I I think I will do it another go. Just add a little. So there's really a lot of dirt in in here but it, I think it, it looks like it will be better but it could be some of the areas that uh, need some care okay 
And if I add some, I mean just a little drop on the actual end and let the oil soak in. <coughs> Hopefully it will do the trick. Or maybe it needs more. Sometimes one can actually do a little trick. If you pull it under here, I mean, put a screwdriver in here and just get it to move a little, it could be that it will help. As, and as you can see here, it actually helps. So I only add oil on the axle end here, not all over here, because it will be too much. So now that part of the camera is actually working. <clears throat> the other part up here is actually, uh, well, it's not that sticky, but it could be. And if it was, um it will not yeah there is something should just add a little just a very little few drops of uh, lighter fluid and then give it some movement and it will simply free up the old oil or whatever they have used and then wipe away the rest of it and then add a little just blow the rest of it away <clears throat> and then add a tiny drop of foil so it's uh, what should work and then it acts as a new. So <clears throat> there you can see how the springs and there's a tiny hair spring that goes around here and over here. So it will move the, the parts here. And down here it's the same. You can see it works really good. And it was just because I uh, add some very gently pressure on here and uh, this arm will actually move much better. <clears throat> now if I uh, move this arm, let's see how it goes, yeah, <clears throat> just need to take out the roll here. because it will be easier to show how things actually work. So when putting in a film, this one will act as a, when you, you close the lid, it will go like that here. So the moving part when closing the lid is so. And if some of the part is a bit sticky, uh, this is very good at the moment. So if uh, if I count, I mean, if I wind the camera and the roll here for the uh, for the counter. It has going up to 12, let's say, or whatever it is, and lock here. Just need to take this tiny spacer away. Now, <clears throat> if I open the lid, 
it will reset the counter like I mean it should do so so one has really to press a lot over and it will go like that so it has maybe count to something let's say eight nine or something you can see this camera here has a problem because there is missing two T's and it will say the camera cannot uh, count up to to 12 see there there's missing two T's and the last two T's actually here there and there uh, it cannot count up to that so it will, it will show the the wrong so when I open the camera it will reset the counter like this one of the parts also can be sticky is uh, that part up here So if I show as open the lid, this one can sometimes also be very sticky and need some care here. The gears itself, except for the uh, counter wheel, is uh, actually in pretty good condition. Also, this part here, uh, the the axle here, can be some sticky. <coughs> the spring here is actually very pretty strong, but uh, if this one is uh, a bit sticky in the axle, one can add some uh, lighter fluid here, and after that, some. A, a, a tiny drop of oil also this over here should working pretty good uh, there's something as you can see here when uh, moving this it's a bit uh, dirt here so maybe it it could need some care and I think I will just add a little lighter fluid so in, when moving this at the same time and it probably needs some <coughs> something uh, maybe not uh, if one lift up this part a little just a tiny little so it will lift off the ground on the the plate here the the cast element oh it is just metal pressed so one could actually just lift up a little here and um, <clears throat> just to free of it, free it up a little. And I don't think it needs some oil. Yeah, it seems to work pretty good at the moment. So how does it actually work inside when advance the camera? So I'll just put this plate on again. And uh, as it will act as it was sitting on, so I'll put on the the parts, the brass plate here. 
maybe this one put on yes I think and the spring here comes on and the plate itself should sit like this and then the two screws and then I can actually work with the camera as uh, if the plate, the sight, the cover was on without any problem okay here was the big tight Oh, okay, little fellow. So you might stay there. So, so it is. Then put on the uh, the handle, and then um, put the pin in here so so now I can actually work with the camera as it should but I will put on the lid or the back plate because uh, it will work as it should be so you can see here when I close the lid what actually happened from all the way up here so and now I can actually advance the, the camera <clears throat> and uh, so it will act like this so and of course all the way back the camera and it works much better because I uh, give this part here some care with the lighter fluid and also this pin here <coughs> of course <coughs> we could put in a film just to see how are things actually working? I think it will be good. I just have a test roll here. <coughs> it has been used many times for that task, just to see how a film transport is working. <coughs> so I will just add it here. Take out the pin here. So unlock it. Putting in the film. And then turn this here, and it should. Uh, so put the film up to here. I need to put this on and of course I'll just uh, add it after so unlock it put in the film roll and it should work like this but this part here is actually the the connection between the the gear here and the film roll so this one needs to be put on here so maybe it will work maybe not but putting in the film 
on the take up spool roll <laughs> and hopefully it will you see <clears throat> there's no pressure on here so uh, it can be a little difficult to advance the film so i need to do so I'm pressing on it at the same time now <clears throat> then i can put the lid on and uh, make the camera work as it should but i need to to prevent the film roll from uh, just flip out so i set some pressure on here but what's important is when i advance the film sometimes it should actually hmm. the you see the counter wheel here is not working that good so why not <clears throat> I mean I put in the film I close the lid and the gear here should work as uh, like it should but it will not uh, draw the the film counter here with so how about that maybe this one needs some you see that's is that's strange everything is put correct in but uh, this is working this is working I miss some kind of a connection <clears throat> you see it looks like I actually miss a Um, let's see the point this one there so this one slack should actually come up here and uh, so now this is it it's because it was sitting in a wrong position so now I can actually move the counter like it should so backward and then click and then move the the winder mechanism click it says going back and next time advance and take a close look there is some part that when I at the end of the winding uh, <clears throat> for this picture it will set click there go back we do it again and if I if I advance So, and I go in backward, fire the camera, and I do it again. Look at these parts over here, it will click into position when it's correct. There. And you see, you cannot fire the camera if the the wheel, the handle here is, I mean, the advance arm is not um, going back to its uh, start position. So when I just pull it down here and try to fire the camera, I cannot. So I need to put this all the way back. And I will push up the here, this lock 
pin so that they start position and then I can fire the camera so you can see this pin is also and it's also sometimes getting sticky this is working pretty good at the moment so I can uh, give it another go click says and fire the camera so and we do it again back and do it again Oh, there's still film and so when pressing down the uh, shutter button this area here will will uh, move if I do it slowly Of course the, the mechanism from the shutter button, there are some arms in here, it could also uh, do have some effect of if they not move freely, it will, uh, it will not get the camera to work. See, <clears throat> now we are actually on the end of the film because there is not any more left so this is the ending point here and it has been worn out a little because it will the, the 12 number is sitting wrong because there is missing one yeah actually two teeth here so uh, but I mean it can still count to almost 12 but that's fine for me so now the film is actually done and one can take it out and let's see what happened if I open the lid uh, if I can do it slowly And this fork here should actually go all the way up to to hook here and if I do it again so and then the film is kind of exposed and I can just take it out this is just for testing so um, <clears throat> now I will actually just put the lid on again uh, and this was actually what I would like to show how things is uh, working in a raw life flex I mean there's, um, there's something to be aware of but now it, <clears throat> it has hopefully give some some people a uh, good look inside here just unscrew it And the thin plate here and the little spring 
and the brass spacer which also can sit in one position the ring itself here so and this one we could also take a look inside how it looks in under here this is, I think it's a kind of a clutch uh, it will prevent the the film from going back but these two locks here can also over time <coughs> be a bit what do you say sticky or something I'm not quite sure if this one is be taking off. Maybe there are some. It's not possible to take this off here. No, it is. So let's see how it's under here. Not really anything. Hmm. Well, <coughs> I have to dig deeper into this here one could also be a problem here if this pin here is not working proper it could also be some part of the sticky thing in here maybe this axle could be a bit sticky but um, it's not the case in this camera. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I could just show how I will put the things back in again. This spacer sits there, and the black part here for the uh, for the handle, I mean the <laughs> it goes on here, and uh, to put it correct in, one could just lift up this pin here. To get it correct, so so it sits correct. I forgot something. Mm, not good. This one has to come on, of course. And it has to sit there, kind of. But it has to sit this like this. Um, so. I was just wrong. <coughs> when I put it in first so let's do it again this uh, ring with the two pin oh come on with the two pin here has to sit with the pin uh, towards inside and it can only sit there so putting on this uh, black part I actually don't know the name of it so uh, but it uh, doesn't matter <clears throat> one could probably let's see here if I put this on here one could just uh, press down maybe maybe not up here okay pressing down this one right here and then put on the, uh, the handle the wheel here the black part now put on the tiny spacer here mm. 
<coughs> well, I think I have put something in wrong. As I see it, because uh, there was one spacer I put in. This one was sitting wrong. It should be this one that sits here. So and then this one should come on here. Okay there. Why did that go in? Or oh, there is maybe something wrong. This one goes on here. So, and then this uh, spacer here. Oh, come on here. Oh, just sorry a moment. I need to change battery. Now, <clears throat> putting on the the rest of the pot which will be the um, the spring oh there is something <clears throat> there's something wrong yeah as I see it see this spring here is missing this one is uh... oh yeah <clears throat> oh sorry <laughs> it was inside <laughs> okay there there we are because uh... there was something wrong This spring, which I forgot at first, it to sit here. Or it should maybe sit something like that. It doesn't really matter as I see it. But better set it as it was sitting. And now this part comes on. I think it must be the heat that <laughs> that fooled me. So, and on with that. Something there, and this one comes on here. So now everything is uh, almost correct. This one, this spacer, I mean this spring here, comes on here. And then it's time to put the lid on. This one sits, oh, this one sits over here. And it can only sit in one position, something like that. And then I can put this, uh, the cover on. And remember the, the spaces here and there. And the spring will push down there. And then put it on. So and then give it some 
two screws or something like that in the corners just to prevent it from spring around one there and one there So it should sit. And now the um, this ring comes on here. Can only sit in one position. So and on with the. Uh, the tiny spring here and remember how it should sit the two sides here this side and this side should be bended upwards and now I can put on this uh, plate here and uh, then add the two screws one could just use a tweezer to correct the position of the, uh, the spring so it is and hopefully it will be fine There it is, almost, not really, because the ring is not sitting correct. See, the small notch has to sit correct, so just loosen it a little. Oh, take care of the leather pieces not to damage them too much see here now <clears throat> just try to roll it something okay there it is to position sometimes you have to move things forth and back to correct them into position so it is but this uh, spacer should not move Yeah. So and that's it. Now on with the with the tiny letter piece here. Uh, not in good condition so I 
have another used, very used uh, disassembled Rala flex, so I can just take some parts from there. This one goes on, and the pin goes in here, and just push it in. <clears throat> Not all the way in, because uh, if something I need to take care of, yeah. And everything is uh, seems to work. Good. I can just put the lid on. I mean the the um, the, the uh, leather. The screws are non-magnetic, so <laughs> sometimes it can be a challenge to put them in, but it seems to go fine. And there is no need for any thread lock or something like that. Not in in my opinion. So sometimes they can be a little tricky to screw in. One sometimes need to unscrew it here, there and I mean just loosen the screws so the plate here come in to correct place. I mean it has it has been there before. A little, little screw, do you mind? Some of the screw heads are really not in good condition. So I guess somebody has been into the camera before me. I can see I need to sharpen my my screwdriver so it can work good again. Now the uh, the the bridge up here needs to be put on and. Uh, this is a thick spacer and the thin one comes on here and then this bridge go on. It can be adjusted a little, I mean not yet actually because I need to put on my uh, my that uh, my cover here and um, if I have I think I will go into this camera again but and dig deeper into it but if I would put on some some glue uh, I could just have cover it with some some uh, glue and then spread it on the uh, the leather and uh, then just put it on. But uh, I will not do this in this case. But uh, it should be pretty straightforward. Put this on here. Yeah. And the long screw goes in here. Just use the pointy tweezers to align the hole correct. And then add the screws here. Just 
gently tighten it <coughs> because it maybe needs some adjustment. Um, I mean, in case the lid is not uh, closing proper. So we can just see how it will go. The lock is open here, so I can just put the lid on and put it in. And if it's too loose, one could actually open it a little and push it a little uh, towards the front. Just a little. So, and then tighten the screws again. And then it would be uh, tighter in the in those things. So, and then it should actually work pretty good again. <clears throat> and just to see it, it works proper. Proper. I'll just add a test. I mean, just a test roll again. Lock it here and then put in this one here and lock the pin. Add the film. <coughs> I've just cut the one end so it with a longer longer piece here. But uh, so and then Roll it. So, and close the lid. So, and then going back to, I mean, but there's one thing that is not working proper uh, because it will not count. So there is something that uh, was putting back wrong. And as I mentioned <coughs> earlier, this uh, area down here where the pin was, it should be, uh, I mean, it should not be hooked in. Because the counting function, it does not work here. So we're... <clears throat> okay. Now that was strange. Because it, it goes to zero. And will not count again. And it was because the... Um, the pin down here was sitting wrong because when opening opening the lid it will count see there and if I fire it, it will go again it was because the pin down here was sitting wrong so I need to unlock it or oh, whatever it calls so <clears throat> see if I can just show it again and just unhook this out of the Here. Just a very 
quickly open it again and uh, she was was actually wrong Ooh. <laughs> So now you know where things has to sit, even if it was taken apart. Just take off the leather here and unscrew this. this and the two little leather pieces <laughs> <coughs> and then the five screws that need to come off it's good to see what's actually uh, makes the problem here when things is not working mm -hmm. a screw a screw and the last one now let's see what actually makes the problem See this tiny pin here is sitting right there. Now <clears throat> take off the lid and as I think it should be, you see this pin here is sitting in the wrong position because when closing the lid and the roll is in it should uh, do something like that and it will free up the counter so this one has to stay there so there is something really wrong so when closing the back here see this one goes there and it close but uh, it will not count so that's weird And if I uh, actually turn the uh, advance arm, I say we'll just put this on and uh, so we can see what's going on. One screw there, one screw there. So, I know there is no film in the camera, but it should work anyway. But, uh, So the login function is working and where's my film, my test roll, it's good to have actually when uh, 
working with cameras like this. It's good to have just a something test roll. So it is there. And adding this one. So there. And so there. And the film goes in here. <laughs> so and adding the lid and closing but the point is that the uh, the unlocking function will unlock the counter. So I have to sew and pressing down this one. Maybe it does itself. Let's see. Okay, here. Second, okay, we do not need this one. <coughs> that add this and the pin. So and there. Now. There's something really wrong here. If what if I do so? Something is working, but if I open the lid. I will reset to zero. No. But if I close it, that's weird. I will close to zero. I mean, it should be the opposite. So what's the, what's the issue here? Is it something? Where did it went? Let's see here. What's going on? No, everything is sitting correct. This one is sitting correct. But this locking function this should free up the uh, the counter. See, it should sit like that, but if I open the lid, hmm, there, the locking function.
from here. Take off this. It looks like it's something with this uh, part here that is not really working proper. See, this one should stay over. And it will close the free up the <coughs> this pin here. It looks like there's something wrong with this one here. So something is wrong position. Well, <clears throat> there's nothing there. Everything seems to be okay, but it's only this one that. Uh, Look like something is bent at all. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to investigate more on this camera, so maybe it's correct, maybe not. So I will leave it uh, right now for this. So see you soon. Bye bye. Now it seems I uh, found the uh, what was wrong with the um, advance and the counter thingy that one when uh, putting in the film has to be put in correct of course <laughs> and uh, it doesn't have to go over here but under as I see it. Um, because then the counter mechanism actually works. So when putting in the film here, on the take up reel spool, so and The mechanism down here is actually when I put in the when I when I put on the the lid here and putting in on now let's see what's happened here. So when I put it on, see it moves even with the plastic part here. It doesn't matter, but uh, okay, there, no. Now, when I close the lid, <coughs> when I close the lid, looks what happened with this area. It will free up the uh, the hook here, so it will not uh, cut there, because this part is actually. So when I close the lid, it should, well, it just, it just worked for me, but, um, but then I close it and then so 
but the first uh, I mean at zero it will uh, free up the hook here and let the counting part here working proper so <clears throat> If I just open the camera again, look what's happened here. Fire the shutter and there. And when I open it again, it will. So. And when I close the lid again, and the, the counter will, will reset. Close it and then it unhooks this one. Just to we just do, do a few turns. So we'll begin at one. Cafe there, fire the shutter, and then count until the next frame. Now fire the shutter. Okay, use the small spacer here. Um I have fired and then open the lid again. Look what's happened here. It will free up this. And when I close the lid again, it will reset the counter and uh, unhook this one. Not really, but when I begin to turn, It'll free up this one. And now for to first frame. Fire again and then one. You need some oil now and then <laughs> somewhere. Now fire the shutter and uh, open the lid again and looks there. So and when I close the lid again it uh, will reset the counter and there it will free up this one so the counter mechanism is engaged with the counter wheel. And then it's ready to go to first frame. Fire the shutter, and then so. <clears throat> it take, took me a while to figure out, but um, okay. Open the lid, and you're free of this, and. So, and if I close the lid again as putting in a new film, uh, it will go like reset the counter and putting in the lid all the way in. See, there's something here that is not. As it should be, but it will work when I uh, advance the the camera. But there is maybe it's to put on new film and then free up. But there is something that is not working proper. So this one should, as I see it, stay there. And when I put on the lid, so, and the counting mechanism is still in. Stop at one, fire the shutter, open the lid, and it will unlock, so. 
when putting it back in. <sighs> I should do so to put in the uh, counter wheel. Now, <clears throat> maybe other have a uh, more info about this uh, problem. So I will just let it be here. So hope you can use the info. Bye bye.